you needed was the perfect tool for, in my mind, to get the perfect shot. So I built this 14,000 pound, pretty much movable tripod. So when we're going down the road, we have all these flaps up. And then when we get ready to intercept, hopefully we point in the right direction. So we're taking the hardest winds from the nose on. And then these flaps, before that happens, these flaps go down to block lifting winds. Because we want the winds to go over the vehicle, not underneath. We don't want lifting winds, we want downforcing winds. So once these flaps are down, it puts the spike just above the ground. And then we ram spikes into the ground so that we kind of have a pivot point. So we don't get pushed off our spot, go into a ditch, say, and then kind of flip over, and then the winds take us, and then roll us down our merry way. So also we have armor on this vehicle. We have two-inch composite armor. So we have a barrier of aluminum, then Kevlar, then aluminum, then of 16-gauge steel, then half-inch rubber, then half-inch polycarbonate, then half-inch rubber, then another layer of aluminum. So we've got a lot of stopping power around where the people are, whereas these these types of uh, these panels are very light. There's another thing is you don't want to be too too heavy, in that you say get stuck in the mud or you put too much stress on the vehicle that's pulling you down the road. So we've tried to make it light where we need it and then sturdy where we need it. Also, we have my favorite part is the turret. The turret is where the IMAX camera lives. And that's where we shoot all the footage of the tornadoes coming directly at us and impacting us. And on the turret, it has a window. And a hydraulic piston opens that window, and then I film through that window as the tornado's coming towards us. And then when things get too nasty, say debris coming into the turret, I close that, that protective barrier. Because I have a, a deep love of weather you know, severe weather. And I wanted to capture that in pretty much the, the best format possible, the IMAX format, so that maybe people can take away the feelings that I have, that excitement, you know, that being in presence of something that's so inspiring as a supercell storm and the tornadoes that they create. This is a special tool. Its one purpose is to get right next to tornadoes and film them as they're coming at us and impacting us. Because there's a huge difference between filming a tornado from, say, three miles away with a telephoto lens and being right next to them with a wide-angle lens. Because when you're extremely close to tornadoes, that's where you see all the action. You know, that's where you see the trees being knocked down. That's where you see the 55-gallon barrels floating by your head. That's the kind of footage that I wanted to get to put on an IMAX screen. This whole project, you know, took eight years. I wanted to do this film so bad that I built two of these tanks. I spent eight years in the field. And so maybe this film also is about, you know, perseverance and following what's important to you. And also this film answers the age-old questions that five-year-old boys have been asking for hundreds of years. Who would win, a tank or a tornado? <laughs> Why should they see Tornado Alley? Why wouldn't people want to see Tornado Alley?